Good afternoon, everyone. I am Luter FM. Nice to see you again. Uh, thank you for the continuous support I've been getting. Uh, the last couple of videos hasn't had many views, so please let me know in the comment section what I what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Just gives me a general overview, um, and I'm always looking to improve and make the videos better. So is it the content? Is it the is it because I'm playing with Drake Rovers? It's not really grabbing people. Um, is it the way I'm doing the videos? Just let me know. I'll appreciate it. But I hope you all had a nice weekend. I know it's a bit sad now. It's back to Monday. Um, but yeah, but going back to our save, where you left us off last. By the way, I'm sorry in advance. I've still got um, I got cold the middle of last week and it's not shifted and I'm having coughing fits. So we'll just have to see how we get on. Um, but yeah, where you left us off last was we are 23 games gone, we've won 22, we've only lost one all season, we've got 66 points, we've got 26 points ahead of Dunfermline, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games left, 13 times 3 is 26, 39, so going back to that, so we've got 26, so we need, we need to win the next couple of games. I think by this point, when we play with Cove Rangers, might be the title decider. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes, really. But yeah, um, Lewis Vaughan is the top scorer, but technically that's not true because um, Hoyland, who we had on loan, um, managed to... I don't know, I'll quickly show you Hoyland. Yeah, we just recently got him back on loan because he went to Braga. We caught, we we tried to sign him on a free transfer, but obviously he didn't want to come to us. So he's gone to Braga, but we did manage to get a loan deal for him. But before that, he got 10 goals in 15 games for us. So hopefully he can replicate that in the next uh, next 10 games he plays for us. But he's already scored it when he, when he come on. So yeah, but Lewis Vaughan's the other top scorer, basically. He's Mr. Rafe Rovers, as we all know. Um, but yeah, hope you all had a nice weekend. Like I said, I didn't do much because I was quite ill. Um, I mean, I know it's only a cold, but it just seems to just ground me to a halt. Um, but luckily, my I had my girlfriend looking after me, so I was quite lucky in a way. Um, but yeah, I took loads of meds and I rested, so I feel a bit. I just got that tickly, you know, that tickly cough that just doesn't want to go away. And it only really comes out at night when you're trying to sleep. Yeah, it's that type of cough. Um, very happy last night watching the Man United game against Villa. We uh, we did well. We won, won another game. It's three games in a row now. I think it's a miracle. Let me know which team you support. Let me know how they did in the comment section. Trying to build a bit more interaction with the... Uh, with the um, well, I'd say customers, you're not customers, but with the followers, subscribers on here. So if you're watching these videos, feel free to feel free to contribute um, in the comment section. Let me know, good or bad, what you think. Uh, maybe people are getting bored because I'm doing so well, and they probably prefer it when I'm not doing so well. Um, that is, I tend to prefer watching... People not doing very well on Football Manager than the people who just thrash everybody. I mean, I like Lelujo. Um, he's one of my favourite FM content creators. But he wins a lot, doesn't he? Um, he's just very good at playing Football Manager. But, you know, I, I, but I like his personality and stuff like that. So that's why I keep watching his videos. Um, but, yeah, I don't have time, unfortunately, to watch as many as I used to. I used to like watching Work the Space and... Uh, Dr. Benji when he was on hopefully he's making a comeback soon so keeps teasing on Twitter but I don't know whether he's just doing it for lols I don't know but he'll probably come back at some point I prefer his GTA roleplay content if I'm honest with you but it's up to him what he wants to do right then we got this player on loan uh, Stephen Walsh from Celtic so hopefully he'll do well for us so we've got Ruse in goal, Pablo Henrique is right back, Welsh making his debut, uh, playing alongside Warner. Diarte is left back, ball in the middle with Fleck as usual, 
Lopez on the right, Maldin in the middle, Kinder on the left, and Hoyman up front. Sorry about that. Right, so let's see how it goes. Hopefully Hoyland can get another couple of goals. Hopefully I can sign him at some point. Maybe Braga will let me sign him if I get a decent enough uh, put a decent enough bid for him. I think obviously when we get promoted to the Scottish Premiership it might make it easier for us to sign certain players. But yeah, I know it's only the Scottish Premiership, but it does make a big difference from the Scottish Championship to the Scottish Premiership, the type of players you can bring in. Good defensive work there by Welsh, that's a good sign. Yeah, sorry if I keep having to clear my throat, by the way. Oh, nearly scored. Da, 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 da. Let's try encouraging the players. I've started um, on Twitch. I've, I, I did it on Friday just to see, test the waters, but... Basically on Twitch, I decided to live stream me playing a wrestling simulation game called TEW 2020. It's basically, for people who don't know, it's basically the wrestling version of Football Manager. Um, not as good, I would say. They need to improve on the software they use to create the game. So it's not as good, I'd say. Um, but yeah, still decent enough. Um and I was decided to start a new save with WWE. So yeah, so I might um so I'm doing that on Twitch and I might do an AEW or a TNA save for YouTube. Maybe just one video a week and just see how I get on with that. But I did get quite a I did get um a fair bit of people staying on the stream when I did it, which I was quite surprised at because it's such a niche game. Um, because I love wrestling, there was there was somebody on there that was chatting away with me about wrestling and and stuff like that. The only issue was is the database I was using was quite flawed, even though my mate Josh did a lot of work on it. So I had to spend the weekend ticking around with it and trying to get all the contracts to expire in re like in real life. I had a look online, so it'd be quite exciting. Um, yeah, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna live stream that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna live stream on Twitch today at two p.m. Football Manager content. There we go. Hoyland gets the goal. So yeah, so if you like watching, if you, if you're a bit of a a bit of a like a niche games person and you don't really like the mainstream games but you prefer the smaller games, then come along on Tuesday. Let me know if you're a wrestling fan. Let me know. But yeah, twitch.tv, Lucha FM. <coughs> right, we've got ball here. Loses the ball, no pun intended. There we go, a nice bit of passing going on here. Nice comfortable uh, lead so far, 2-0 at half time. Lopez is playing really well again. There's a few fans there. They all seem to be in that corner one. <coughs> right, Lopez drives it forward. Headed out there by Fleck. It's a ball. Ah, nothing, leave, nothing comes to it. Right, 2-0 you know, at half time. Throw in. Lopez. Diarte. It'll be curious to see um, what our odds are when we when we do go up into the Scottish Premiership, because we were such an obvious favourite to get promoted. I don't know whether that's a good thing, as in we've got like a, a ridiculously good team. I, I I mean I'd probably say we've got a fairly good team for the Scottish Premiership standards as well. Obviously not as good as like Celtic or Rangers or anything like that, but I would say top six Scottish Premiership team maybe. And if we get Hoyland on a permanent deal, then that will make a big difference. If we can get players like him. Oh, penalty conceded though. <coughs> Bird is the word. Jay Bird with the penalty. He misses it. 
word, bird is not, in fact, the word. I feel like we play Arbor for a hell of a lot because I see Strap every other game, I swear I do. Unless there's more than one Strap playing in the Scottish Championship. <clears throat> Right, Musqui. With a lovely little floating cross. Beautiful head of a Hoyland. Well done, young man. Second goal of the game. Musqui, Musqui's having a hell of a game. Three assists. Fair play to him. Right, Hoyland's knackered so he can come off. Put Lewis Vaughan on. Sorry, Hoyland, I know I stopped you getting your hat trick, but we need to think about your fitness. <clears throat> right, 3 1. Hopefully, not, that's not the one of many. I don't talk as much it's mostly because I've got because of this clogged up throat so don't take it personally I'm not trying to be rude um click oh it's the post Lopez oh offside I managed to very sneakily get my girlfriend a she doesn't she doesn't really like doing Valentine's Day because she doesn't think that there should be one day to celebrate love, yeah, she's one there. Um, but I still got something for Valentine's Day. Oh, that's it, Musgrave, get in. It's free, he, he's had the perfect game here, free assists and a goal. Um, yeah, so me and my, my girlfriend, we went to a shopping centre yesterday and I managed to, while she was getting me my Valentine's Day card, I managed to sneak out and go to the jewellers and get her some um, earrings that she liked. So I did very well and I managed to get them without her knowing. And then because she didn't, she doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day. I gave them last night instead of Wednesday. So, and then I said to her, "It's not a Valentine's present, is it? I'm just giving it you now. If it was a Valentine's present, I'd give it you on Valentine's Day. See, so that's how I got around it, everyone. So, but she appreciated them. She's not like um, high maintenance. She doesn't like me buying her anything, to be honest. But because it's Valentine's Day, I felt like I should. Gotta make the effort, ain't we? <laughs> Right, we got Livingston next. Well, we reached the playoffs, which is the minimum they wanted us to do. He's actually a very good player because I'm doing an offline offline save with Derby County at the moment, and he's a pretty good young player that um, it gets better with as he gets older. So he's worth having on the shortlist for now. Right, we've got a Scottish Cup fifth round game coming up now against Livingston. Hopefully we can beat them, we can get a nice away game against Celtic or Rangers in the next round maybe. <clears throat> and obviously because of this file that I've got, as the better you do in the Scottish Cup, the more money you get. Right, so we've got Ruse and Goal, we've got Swanson as right back, Valesco back in centre back with Welsh. Kingsley is left back, Fleck and Ball in the field, Lopez on the right, Burke in the middle, Musgrave on the left, and Hoyland up front. Let's see how we do. Kind of makes it more important to do well in the Scottish Cup than it does in the other competitions because you get so much money from the Scottish Cup. It's a bit of a weird one. Anyway, that's a good start. Four minutes in, already scored. Velasco, Velasco from a flat corner. Velasco, was it Velasco? Velasco, sorry. By the way, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up in Twitch, but I say 
Um, you know the word grammar. I say it as grammar, and it and it really annoys my girlfriend because she's a, a bit of a bit of a English geek. So she doesn't like people butchering the English language. Um, so I know how to annoy her now. But anyway, um, let me know. Do you say it as grammar or grammar? <clears throat> um, we've got a bit of a situation here because we've got two midfielders that can't play in the defensive positions very well. So we're having to push them here. Um, go tactics. Let's do that. And then we'll do We'll do that. There you go. Right, 1 0 up before the end of the first half. Uh, annoyingly, Lopez is now knackered. Two players, I've done three players have had to come off already in the first half alone. Four players now. That's not good, is it? Better not get any major injuries in the next. Um, rest of this game I don't want to go down to 10 men because I can't know I can't make any more subs right Vaughan with the corner oh nearly right give it back to Mr Rafe Rovers Musquee's been a really good signing for us I wasn't expecting much from him but he's done really well <coughs> Right, we're coming up to the nearly 20 minutes to go in the game. Oh, Graham Burke's knackered and so is Hoyland. Can I make any more subs? No, I can't. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it now. I'll just have to keep going. You're just going to have to keep going. Right, another corner to us. Rafe Ro Mr. Rafe Rovers, Lewis Vaughan. Okay, another corner. Vaughan again. Drills it in this time to no avail. <coughs> Vaughan, the free kick, lofts it up. Kingsley now to Valesco. Kingsley back to Valesco. Is he going to drive it in? No. He passes it back. Oh, nearly. 1 0. There we go. Happy with that. Through to the next round. I wonder who we're going get, to get in the next round. We get 10 million. That's ridiculous. This file is ridiculous. For anybody who doesn't know, in case you just like you haven't watched it from the start, I've got to edit a file that makes it um, gives better money for Scottish teams. So they can compete with other teams in Europe and stuff like that. Still can't move any of this transfer budget into the wage budget, which is stupid. <coughs> right, um, when's our next game? We've got seven days. Actually, let me see if I can do the Scottish Cup draw first. For you lovely people, so you can watch it live. There we go. So we'll watch this. So start draw, and then we'll go advance. The Monica playing Rangers Rapidine. Dundee are playing Hart. St. Mirren are playing Hamilton or Motherwell. St. Johnston are playing us. So we've got St. Johnston away. Not ideal. Uh, but if we beat them, then we'll get more prize money. So it makes sense. Right then, I'll be back in a minute for the next part of the episode. Thank you. Right, and we're back. Um, there wasn't much worth mentioning in the inbox item, so I've just left it. Um, and yeah, we're playing Air United next. 
getting ever so closer. Let's have a quick look at the league table. We are 29 points ahead now. So it's only a matter of time, I think, before... I think we're 10 points. Oh, sugar. Forgot to do the lineup then. Sorry. Uh, so we've got Ruse in goal, Pablo Henrique uh, as right back, Welsh and Warner in centre back for the partnership, Diate on the left, Ball and Fleck in midfield with Lopez on the right, Burke in the middle just behind uh, Emil Hoyland and Lewis Ball on the left. Mr. Rafe Rovers. According to this, we're now 30 points clear of Dunfermline. So I think we've just got to win another. After this game, I think we've just got three more games we've got to win, and then that's it. I think. I could be completely wrong, though. Uh, Lopez injured. So we'll put Musqui on there. What I will do, though, is if I've, once I've won the Scottish Championship, I'll just holiday for the rest of the games. <coughs> Because otherwise it's going to be a bit boring, isn't it? Because we're mostly going to win. There's nothing to play for, so we might as well just holiday through the games. Hoyland. That's 1-0. We're now 31 points ahead. So if results carry on, we'll literally win the title in three games time. I think. I'll have another look before uh, we finish this episode. Beautiful bit of passing here, must we? Oh, a bit too ambitious there, mate. Burke to Hoyland. Oh, beautiful little pass there. And lucky Musgrave. Lewis Vaughan. That was a terrible pass, Lewis Vaughan. Not doing very well, Mr. Rafe Rovers, in this game. Maybe he can redeem himself with this corner there. <laughs> Musgrave back to Vaughan. Vaughan. Oh, lucky Vaughan. At least he's trying more now. Right, 1-0 up at half-time. We'll just demand a little bit more from the players, especially bloody Lewis Ball. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I think it's our throw. There we go. Diate, Fleck, Burke to Lewis Ball. Get in, Lewis Ball. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see, mate. Two 0 up. Give the players a little praise. Thirty one points ahead in the league table now. At the start of the season, I didn't think for any second that we were going to be so dominant. But then, when I looked at the season preview and saw that we were like one to ninety one, so basically we'd have to put ninety one ninety one pounds on to get one pound back. That's how obvious of a favourite we were to win the Scottish Championship. So I was like, okay, fair enough. So, uh, yeah, it's been quite an easy season, this one. I don't expect the next season to be as easy. Um, but, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can make some decent signings because the, the balance is pretty good now at Rafe Rovers. It's just sorting out that wage budget, which is now been... Seems to be a bug in the game, I think, because I've never had that issue before. Anyway, Nicholson own goal, 3 0. We don't care how the goals go in, as long as they go in, that's all that matters to us. Right, let's make some substitutions. <coughs> Get some fresh legs on, Maldini. With the 
Paul Corner straight in the keeper's hands. Hopefully, we can just see this game up now. Yeah, so we're 31 points clear at the moment. So, when this finishes, I'll have a quick look, see how many games we've got left. Try and do some quick math. <coughs> Lopez out for six to eight weeks, so that's the rest of the season amount, which is a shame. Luckily we've got Musqui, right, schedule. Still annoyed that I rested players for that game in, against Falkirk and we bloody lost. Uh, could have gone a whole season unbeaten. Probably not going to happen for the rest of this save. Right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, so 33. So actually... If we, we we'll we'll be champions after the next game. If we win the next game, so we'll be champions, which will be good. So anyway, I'll um I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Hopefully, we'll clinch the title then. And that. So yeah, but thank you very much as always. Um, feel free to subscribe to me if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on Twitch as well. Twitch.tv. FM. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. All the best. Bye.